I go, my brothers and sisters, stay strong. I was proud to be with you all night too. Have a good day, my brothers and sisters. Stay strong. Campbell Newman's government was only sworn in 24 hours ago and he's already using 250 police, heavily armed police, to assert a political agenda. People of Queensland should be very, very worried about this. I look across at the police opposite and I see pistols. I see stasis weapons, what they call them? Tasers. 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 What, what, why do they, why do they need these weapons? The dogs! Yeah, well, <laughs> emotions, emotions. But, uh, you know, we as taxpayers of Queensland, we pay these police to go out and, <laughs> and stop banks being robbed. We pay these police to protect us. So like I said, Musgrave Park must be the safest place in Queensland right now. But I don't think we uh, we want to thank the, the police of Queensland for this. But really, like I said, Campbell Newman was sworn in yesterday. There are 89 new members of the Queensland Parliament. There's not one single Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander person in that Parliament. Yay! We were there yesterday. We were there yesterday at Parliament House because we've been given notice that Campbell Newman is going to expand the uranium mining industry in Queensland. Shame. That concerns Aboriginal people because that uranium poison is on Aboriginal land. This is what this tent, this tent protest across the road here, this is why it's, he, it's been here for two months and it will be here for another two months, two years, 20 years to assert the rights of Aboriginal people, to assert the rights of Aboriginal people to manage our country. Unless Aboriginal people start managing our country again, the land will be destroyed. We have sickness country right across this land. Aboriginal people need to be given the rights to manage country. And we need to start that by giving Aboriginal people the right to manage Musgrave Park. Yes. Yes. That is the theme of the Aboriginal tent embassy, Aboriginal sovereignty. Always was. Always will be. Aboriginal land. Always was. Always will be. Aboriginal land. Always was. Always will be. Aboriginal land. Always was. And if you, Jason Harrison, his father, Billy Harrison. Yeah, brother, I'll do that. His father, Billy Harrison, was there with the tent embassy in Canberra. January 1972. Second generation now. Second generation we've had Aboriginal men, Aboriginal women stand up against mass numbers of police to defend and assert our rights as Aboriginal people. To defend and assert our rights to Aboriginal sovereignty. Now this young fellow has been arrested and charged under colonial law and taken away to the watch house. That is wrong. And we say again to Campbell Newman, we say again to Graham Clerk, shame, shame, shame. The struggle won't end here. The struggle will continue. If anything, this is going to ignite, ignite the Aboriginal political struggle, not only here in Brisbane, Queensland, but right across the country. One time. Thank you. Good